Hello everyone, today we'll be looking at the ABCD2 score. So what is the ABCD2 score? It's a risk assessment tool used to estimate the risk of getting a stroke in the short term after a TIA. TIA means transient ischemic attack. It's basically the same manifestations as stroke, however it lasts less than 24 hours. So you have symptoms of stroke and then, you, and then you recover within 24 hours, that's TIA and then you're gonna calculate how much is that person's risk of getting a subsequent stroke in the short term. This is how you use the ABCD to score. Um, so ABCD2, so A stands for H, B stands for blood pressure, C stands for clinical feature of TIA, D stands for duration of TIA, and another D stands for diabetes. So this is how you give the points. H more than 60, uh, you get one point. Blood pressure, systolic, um, 140 and above, or diastolic, 90 and above, you get one point. Um, this blood pressure right, is different from the CURB 65 blood pressure. For CURB 65 is low blood pressure and for ABCD2 score is high blood pressure. So if you think logically, right, for CURB 65 is a risk assessment tool for pneumonia. So uh, in pneumonia, you, get, you have a risk of getting sepsis and in sepsis, you have a risk of getting shock. Which is uh, you, which is dangerous when you have low blood pressure, so it's deco decompensated. So in the case of CURB 65, it's logically low blood pressure. You should be aware. And then for ABCD's two score is for risk of stroke. So when you have high blood pressure, you have high risk of stroke. So that makes sense. So H 60 and above blood pressure, high blood pressure. Clinical feature of TIA, so if you got unilateral weakness, you get two points, and then um, if you don't have unilateral weakness and you have speech impairment, you get one point. And then duration of symptoms, if uh, it's more than 60 minutes, you get two points, and if it's 10 to 59 minutes, you get one point. And lastly, diabetes, you get one point. So, uh, you score the person based on all these points and then uh, add them together. And then based on the total, you can estimate the risk of getting a subsequent stroke after this TIA. So, over here, there's statistical data about uh, the risk of stroke based on the ABCD2 score. So as you can see, as the ABCD2 score increases, the risk of getting a stroke in the next 2 days, 7 days, 30 days and 90 days increases. So, um, these are yeah, recommendations uh, based on the score that you get. So 0 to 3, they recommend that um, hospital observation may be unnecessary without another indication, for example, new atrial fibrillation. And if the score is 4 to 5, uh, hospital observation is justified in most situations. And if the score is 6 to 7, hospital observation is worthwhile because the 2 day stroke risk is about 8.1%. Alright, I think that's all I have for you. Thank you.